defense played, they played lights out. They played lights out. I, I want to say they were on third down conversions. I think they were they were two out of they were two out of fifteen on third down conversion. So that means the defense was getting off the field. They were fired up and they played they played lights out. What do you think the reason for that was, Mickey? Was it just Bill Bush's new kind of vision or did the kids just have that much of a role to win? Well you, you you take your head off to the kids first and then you take your head off to Bill for simplifying some things and the way they practice. These kids got a lot of pride. You know, they've been close. They've been close on a lot of games. So they finally got to the full quarter today and separated themselves in the full quarter. They played full quarters of football, finally. That's how you win close games. You got to play full quarters. What do you, what, what do you see from Melvin Burke's tonight? Melvin's a little warrior, a little young, young kid. What, he's about 17, 18? Yeah, he, um, he played big. You know, he's a kid from down south from Mississippi. It's not too big for him. He's, got, he's a confident kid. And um, we talked to him all week about if you don't block it, you got to pick it up and score. And he did that, but he played he played lights out at corner, you know. And I we we I told him I said they're not going to throw at Q, they're going to throw at you, and then, and he he held his own. What did you see on Turner's ejection? Well, Turner said he didn't punch him. That when the kid was down, he was his 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 helmet was down in his eyes. He couldn't get up, so he pushed the kid down, you know. So, but the referee said it was a punch. So we'll look at it on on the tape, and if it's if it was a bad call, we'll turn it in. And he, the ref also told me that also on the sideline. If he missed it, just let him know, and we'll turn it in. Mickey, what do you think that fourth quarter can do for the guys going, going ahead? Well, I think right now, you know, just, just their mental right now is like, we can win the fourth quarter. We can win close games because they've been so close. They've been so close. They finally got to a Big Ten game and got to the fourth quarter, and they finished in the fourth quarter. Mickey, you mentioned uh, in the press conference earlier this week that you wanted to see a play from special teams, and the special teams was really solid. Nice. So that, block was How good that, that was big. We talked about that all week, and it was executed. You know, to to the best we can execute. It. Joey did a really good job of getting these kids ready. But we we said we had a punt that that we needed to block, and somebody had to make a play. And I thought, like you said, I thought they special teams played solid tonight. How important was the physicality, the physical aspect to you tonight, and how do you, how do you feel that you guys performed in that area? I thought they put their face in the fan. I didn't see, I didn't see anybody shy away. We still had some missed tackles, but I thought for the most part they got them down and they were physical. We we said at the beginning of the game, who was the most physical teams going to win the game? You want to lean on them there on that that last touchdown drive. You really went to Anthony. Were you pleased with just how you were able to kind of grind out? I think it was a six minute drive there. Yeah, and early in the game he wasn't seeing it. So, you know, I was asking Apple, why, why is he bouncing everything? And he told me why he was bouncing, but he wasn't seeing it. So we told him just slow down a little bit because we thought um, Casey thought he was rushing a lot of a lot of the runs. Slow down a little bit, see it, let it develop, and then hit it. What was the sequence? You brought Chubba in on the nine-yard line in the first half. Was Casey hurt? Was, uh, or is that do you want to go to someone else there? No, Ch Chubba needs reps. You know, we thought Casey was struggling, needed to see it sometimes, you know. Coach Osborne did that with us. Took us out sometimes the third or fourth series so you can see it from the sideline. So now you can see what the defense is trying to do to you. So sometimes it's good to take him out. It's not probably won't be the first time that we take him out and let Chubba go in. You know, Chubba's capable of making plays and I know he had a turnover in the end zone, but it just helped Casey see it from the sideline. How hard is it when a game is that choppy? Not not I'm not saying asking you to come and have officiating, but how much of a challenge is that? You're behind the chains a lot, the clock's stopping all the time. I got to do the better job with this team. I know we have officials at practice Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so I'm probably going to have to have officials at practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got to do a better job. I got to do a better job in um, getting them to play under control. And I told them, I said, that the, the non moving penalties irritates me. And a couple of, you know, pass interference calls, one, I thought one of the balls was, you know, wasn't catchable, but they, they had them locked up. They had them covered. You just had to move your feet. But you know, it's things that we can clean up, and we'll go back and look at it, and then and get better. But if you're going to be an aggressive football team, you, you're going to have some some of those penalties if you're going to be aggressive. But you know, we're going to go back and look at it because we don't condone that, and we'll get better. One or two more. Oh, Casey looked to take a pretty hard hit when he came out, and then you have Chubb in for one play. Casey comes back, you know, makes the 71-yard throw after that. What, what what can you say about his? bounce back ability in, the, in that spot. Well, Case is a tough kid. You know, Case comes from a tough family. And when we went out to get him, he grabbed me, he said, I'm going back in the game. So, I mean, with me, I'm like, okay, go back in. Anything else for Coach?
what's uh, you got a short week here with the game Friday. What, what's like tomorrow like, and just you got to kind of jump back to it. Or? It'll be the twenty-four hour rule. Then we got to get ready for Rutgers. How's that first one feel, man? Just one and zero this week. You know how it goes. You know, just got to take one at a time. You know, like I said, I'm happy for the kids. I'm happy for the coaches. You know, as a head coach, you, you sit up here, but you got to give praise to the guys that's underneath you that put the work in. You know, I, I, I'm just I'm just leading them right now, but um, I'm happy for them because they put they put a lot of work in. They work hard. They're doing things extra what I'm asking them to do. So it's not you know it's a little different for them, but they they adapt into it and they understand. They see what I'm what I'm seeing. All right, thank, you. thank you guys.